Hi guys, and we are in the Kia EV6. We are doing their brand new vehicle for um, 2022. It's been out now for almost six months in the United States, and it has all of these beautiful um, tech that no one has really seen from any EV. So let's get started, and I'm going to try to give you some of the pointers of EV. We're gonna show some of the talk. And what is really great about this vehicle is that it has a very large screen. I think it's at least a 20 inch screen from both ends, one's 10 and one's 10. So, let's get started. So right here, so that's about zero to 30, so you feel the power right there. Right now we're in sports mode on zero regenerative braking system, as you can see here. The red cluster right there shows the sports mode, and then right here also shows your battery range. This will change, and it has about 274 target estimated range on the all-wheel drive version. Um, not only that, as you can see on the screen here, it will show you also on your destination how much of your battery you have left with the AC on or off. Not only that, a great component of the cluster itself. With the navigation built in, it will tell you where the charging stations are around in your area so the range anxiety actually gets reduced for any consumers that are iffy about an EV vehicle. And did you hear that range anxiety? It's when you're driving and you get that feeling of, I'm not going to make it. Continue, please. Yeah, so this vehicle also, as you can see, this is the GT line, all-wheel drive right now. It's the highest trim level with a projection of uh, coming out at the end of this year, a GT model as well. That one will have a target estimated horsepower about 576. This one right here, though, on the all-wheel drive version, you're looking around 320 horsepower with about 446 pounds of torque. And also on the cluster here, besides that, uh, on your map, you also have amazing features like quiet mode, valet mode, your climate actually is right here. So if you look at this touch screen cluster here, this is my radio, right? I can turn it on and off here with the radio. However, if I press this here, now we're on to AC. Also heat and ventilated seats in the front, also heated seats in the back on the GT line. You also have this amazing feature here, 360 degree view monitoring system. This one is an augmented reality as you can see here. And then Incredible. You can also see in the front and also the back as well. Well, guys, with that GT line, I just want you to um, know that um, the mileage range will be cut at least 50 to, to um, 75 miles because it will have a larger battery and a more torque. So um, I just want to thank Kia for um, giving us this instruction, and that was a great ride inside of the Kia EV6. So thanks, guys. This is Motorhead for what? MSM. So let's say, hey. Hey now, Samana. I'm thrilled. I'm happy. Hi guys, and welcome to MSM. This is Motorhead, and we're doing the EV we just got out of the EV6. It is so cool, and when I mean EV being electric, it's just one of the things that is hitting all over the country. This is the Kia EV6, and we have just gotten out of the regular one, but this is the EV6 GT. With the EV6 regular model, we'll only do 325 miles a charge. This here the GT because it will have more torque will only do 250 miles per charge it's not bad though but take a look at the slick lines I mean she is really really nice I love everything about this vehicle and I mean if you're going to go electric at least look hot driving it not a spaceship but you know I'm not a silver color guy but digging this color pop open push and you can see how much room she has in it. She has a lot of storage inside of the door. If you look at the screen, it is a 10 inch screen on both sides. Most of the amenities are at your fingertips. Let me show you what's impressive about the Kia EV6. The EV6 actually looks like it has an engine in it. Now that is cool, right? So I'm going to lift and show you something else. That's just storage space right there, but up under it is a lithium battery. And the battery starts from the front of the engine to the back of the engine. This is a really cool vehicle. So that's what I'm talking about. When I 
buy an EV, I want something that looks similar to an engine because, you know, us gasoline dinosaurs, we have issues with electric vehicles. So once we open up something like this and see, oh, wait a minute, is that gas? But it's not. It is electric. So the EV6 GT will not do the 325 miles on a charge. It will do at least 250 because it will have more horsepower than the regular EV6. And Kia is coming out with an EV9. It will be like a small SUV. The EV6 for 2023. This vehicle starts out at $55,000, can end up at $67,000. The regular EV6 starts out at $45,000 and can end up at $50,000. So this is Motorhead saying, I'll see you again on MSN. And this is Monty saying, I'll see you again. Bye guys.